Okay? I'd like to start with the most basic kind of technique uh, that we use in drawing called contour. Contour implies the outside contour of any given shape. Let's say the outline that would describe the shape of the still life object, in this case, the brown paper bag. Uh, there are different ways to think about contour. It can be the outside edge where the bag itself sort of meets the background space or interior contours where you're thinking about the lines that are expressed within the form itself with details such as folds in this case on the bags and seams on the bags and different details like that. It's very important when you're learning how to draw and you're learning the language of drawing to begin to think in a different sort of way, in a very visual way. Drawing requires intense observation. So for the most part, when we go through our daily lives, we think of objects in terms of their name, bags, and we move on. But when you're drawing an object, you need to engage with it more fully and really look at every single tiny visual detail and its relationship to the adjacent details. The best way to begin thinking in this way is to start with a blind contour exercise, which simply means drawing the contours of the bag by observing them carefully and not looking back at your paper. This paper will be a record of my looking at these bags. Beginning students are often very uncomfortable with this technique because they feel the urge to have their drawing look like a photograph of the object. This is not what's going to happen with the blind contour drawing. With the blind contour drawing, you're going to have a record of your eye meandering along the different contours and very carefully observing every single little nuance within those contours. Uh, the blind contour requires a nice drawing instrument, in this case a woodless graphite pencil, and it also requires reevaluating your grip of the pencil. We no longer will hold the pencil like we're writing words. We're going to hold the pencil in our fist like this with our thumb as the pressure point on the pencil. This will push us into a new realm of thinking, a more visual realm of thinking as opposed to a more verbal or writing mode of thinking. So we're going to hold our pencil in our hand like this. And to begin the blind contour drawing, it's very simple. You pick a place on your still life, in this case my bags, I'm going to start here. And you begin by focusing very carefully on the point at which you are going to begin the drawing and begin snaking your eye along a contour of the drawing and at the same time moving your pencil on the paper in sync with your eye movement on the still life. This is a very slow process and it's important that you begin it with a great deal of concentration and pause when your brain starts to wander. I'm going to start up here. Now, it's very important that I not look back at my paper, so I hope you'll notice that my drawing of the bags is going to be reminiscent of bags, but not a photorealistic representation of the bags. And so I'll begin. I am looking at the bags, and I'm moving my pencil as I explore the different contours of the bag. And you'll notice that I am being very faithful in not looking back at the paper. You'll notice as well that my drawing may, um, let me hold this, may or may not be looking quite like a paper bag. But what I'm really doing is focusing my mind on the visual aspects of the bag. The, another important thing to remember when exploring the contour line, the blind contour line technique, is to never lift the pencil off the paper. Stay engaged with this snaking along, down, down, I'm following this contour right now, down, and my pencil is following my eye movement, down, down to the bottom of the bag. When I get to the bottom of the bag, I make a shift over. I'm concentrating mainly on looking and coordinating my hand movement with the movement of my eyes as I follow along the contour. And you'll notice I'm using my thumb as the pressure point for the drawing itself. And I'm coming back up this contour right here, coming back up. 
and tracing back over. Now, I'm not looking back, so I don't know if I'm on top of my line, but it doesn't matter. This is a record of my looking, a record of where my eye went. From this drawing, you'll be able to follow the line and see where my eye traveled. I'm going to go up the other bag. Sometimes you have to hold the paper down. The brain is probably saying things like, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. But in reality, that is your logical, verbal side of your brain fighting with the visual side. The visual side is really enjoying just looking. It's that logical, verbal side that's saying, hurry up and get done. Because there's always more to see, and that's one of the things that the beginning drawing student needs to begin to realize. There's always more to see. There's always new details to explore. It's important as a beginning drawing student, at least initially, to sort of remove yourself from the idea that the drawing has to look a certain way in order to be good. And this type of blind contour drawing will surely help you to remove expectations from what the drawing will look like. If you're familiar with music or any kind of abstract poetry or things like this, you can see that these bags are reminiscent of this still life. They speak to this still life, but it is certainly not a faithfully photorealistic representation of it, but it has a certain charm all of its own where you notice the different line qualities, the dark lines, the light lines depicting some of the interior detail. These are the things that you need to begin really thinking about. The idea that a drawing is not just a photorealistic interpretation, but it is an expression of your movement, of your pressure, of your thoughts, of what's happening to you.